Hey guys, meet reactions as Peter Obi supporter Jack Obia calls the Yoruba people most tribalistic in Nigeria. Some people in the comment section describe the comment as an ethnic ethnic slur calls on the Yoruba ethnic nationality. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to, to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerian politician and the former senior special advisor to the Edo State Governor on New Media, Jack Obia, on Saturday posted an anti Yoruba comment on Facebook. Some people in the comment section described the comment as an ethnic sore cast on the Yoruba ethnic nationality. Hobia is a supporter of the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election. Peter Obi, in a post on his Facebook page on Saturday, Obia said this is not about tribalism, but a mere statement of undisputable fact, good or bad, Yorubas are the most tribalistic in Nigeria. Okay, guys, what do you think about this? You think Yorubas are the most tribalistic tribe in Nigeria? Let's really find out what Nigerians have said as well. At the time of filing this report, the post has generated over 3,300 comments and 2,100 likes. Some of the comments agreed with Obia, while others vehemently disagreed with him. One of those who disagreed with Obia is Dele Faratimi, a fellow supporter of Peter Obi. One of those who disagreed with him is Tari Tawo, who said, That is why you all meet, migrate to their region in droves. The Yoruba remain accommodating despite your corporate insolence, incorporate insolence against them. What many of you will not condor from other tribes in your state? The Yoruba condor it in the spirit of warnings. When the Yoruba is pushed to the wall with your years of insolence and they tell you steadily to back off, you call them tribalistic. Sometimes I wish the Yoruba are truly tribalistic. The nonsense they condemn from many of you is annoying. Also, Benga Ola Dimije wrote, You have always been a quite illogical. That is why most people have never taken you or your ways or actions serious. As an Igbo man, this is a lie from the pit of hell, wrote Chinedu Kelly's. Ejiro said, how many Yoruba are in your village? The way your people freely live in Lagos and Ibadan. I am an, I am an Yoruba man. There are a lot of Yoruba people, a lot of Yoruba people living and farming freely in Yoruba land. Today, an Yoruba man is a commissioner in Lagos State. With your basique appoint a non-Edo commissioner? My friend, go and sleep. Who agreed with Obia said, Bam, you are very correct from my experience in living in the Southwest. Who also agreed with Obia said, 100% correct. Every tribe has tribalistic element, but Yoruba on worst. They are still talking. He's very right, or oh, annoying one for that matter. The name Peter Obi is giving you the reactions. Enjoy why it lasts. It is not arguable. It is 100% right. Thank God is not an Igbo man that made this statement. We can see what hate can do. If anybody says and does anything, haters will try to dump the, the garbage on Peter Obi and Labour Party. The man is saying the truth too. I have come to realize that this tribe thing is a general phenomenon in Nigeria, although it's quite unfortunate we must live with its fat. 
break up the best for this country so that these tribal issues will come to an end. But it's right. It is important to mention who he supports. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> facts. Facts. These are reactions from Nigerians and they, they are still talking. That is the truth. End Nigeria and save life. Absolutely true. He must have the, his reason for such call anyway. Thank you. We await you again. Come 2027. This is a fact that is an old as time itself. Fat nothing. 100% fat, nothing but the truth. Jack Obi, your thanks. Thank you, darling. Uh, these are reactions from Nigerians. You know, the truth remains that the problem we are facing in this country is tribalism. It has eaten us up to the extent that we no longer reason the, the need for because tribalism and religion has taken over us. That is the truth. We do no longer focus on the need for in this country. And it's dragging us back as a nation until we push this tribalism back. By then, Nigeria will now become a successful country because it's not helping us. It's not helping us at all. Those who are supposed to be in a position, you will not be there because you are not related to the person or you are not of the same faith. Uh -huh. So for that reason, you will not be appointed in that particular position. If they happen with the Siam, not be waiting, then they hide. Uh -huh. So not be today is started, don't they? Tribalism have eaten Nigeria up. And that is what is killing this country. And if time is not taken, it's going to bury this country. Tribalism. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.